If you want lightning fast reactions and smoother gameplay in Fortnite, cutting down input delay is absolutely crucial. Today, I'm going to show you simple yet powerful steps that will make your controls feel sharper and your builds faster, so you can dominate every fight with ease. Let's jump right in. First and foremost, always play in full screen mode. This mode gives Fortnite exclusive control over your display and drastically reduces input lag compared to windowed or borderless modes, ensuring the smoothest and most responsive gameplay possible. Next, switch your rendering mode to performance mode, found under the graphics settings. This mode is designed to optimize your game's visuals and FPS, especially if you're running Fortnite on a lower end PC. It strips down unnecessary graphical effects to prioritize speed and responsiveness, which directly lowers input delay. Additionally, turn off the Report Performance Stats option in the Settings menu. Disabling this stops Fortnite from continuously sending performance data to Epic Games' servers, which can reduce background network activity and free up system resources, improving overall stability and latency. On the audio side, lowering the audio quality to low is a smart choice to save CPU and memory, helping Fortnite run smoother and react faster to your inputs. Also, unless you rely heavily on sound cues, it's best to turn off Visualize Sound Effects because this feature adds extra processing load that can increase input lag. By making these simple but effective adjustments inside Fortnite, you'll noticeably reduce input delay and boost overall game performance giving you faster reactions and smoother gameplay when every millisecond counts. All right, guys, now head over to my official website and grab the Fortnite Input Delay Fix Pack. The download link is in the description below. Inside this pack, you'll find two powerful tools, ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, and Filter Keys. Both are essential for cutting down input delay and improving responsiveness in Fortnite. Start by launching ISLC. This handy tool optimizes your system's memory usage by cleaning standby RAM, which helps reduce latency during real-time games like Fortnite. Once ISLC is open, you need to customize a few settings for optimal results. In the first input box, enter 1024. This sets the minimum amount of memory, in megabytes, that triggers cleanup. In the second box, input half of your total system RAM. For example, if your PC has 16 GB of RAM, Enter 8192 MB, which is 8 GB. This tells ISLC to free up memory whenever standby RAM exceeds these limits, keeping your system running smoothly. Next, look to the right side of the window and find the Wanted Time Resolution field. Remove any existing value and set it to 0.5Z. This represents half a millisecond. Then, check the box labeled Enable Custom Time Resolution. This tweak can drastically reduce input lag by improving how often your system checks memory status, giving Fortnite a more responsive feel during intense moments. Scroll down to the polling rate option. If you have a mid to high-end PC, set this to 500 mm for faster updates. For low to mid-range systems, use 1000 Ms to avoid overloading your hardware and maintain stability. Finally, check all the boxes available in the interface, Click Purge Standby List to instantly clear unused memory and hit Start to activate ISLC. Keep the program running in the background, minimize it to your system tray, and it will continuously optimize memory in real time as you play Fortnite. To complement this, use the Filter Key Setter application to further reduce input delay and enhance your keyboard's responsiveness. Right-click on the Filter Key app and select Run as Administrator to ensure it has full control. When the interface opens, check the boxes labeled Available, Confirm Activation, and Show Status. These enable filter keys and keep it active silently in the background. Now it's time to tweak performance settings for instant keystroke recognition. Set Ignore Under to 0 MS so every key press registers immediately without delay. Adjust the repeat delay to 200 MMs and the repeat rate to 25 MS. This setup allows your keyboard to register up to 40 key presses per second. This is perfect for Fortnite, where quick builds and fast edits demand lightning-fast keyboard input. Don't forget to enable the Save to Registry option to make these settings permanent, then click OK to apply everything. To get started with Gear Up Booster, 
Download the tool from the official website using the link after downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. Next, we'll adjust the keyboard data queue size in the Windows registry. This reduces the delay for your keystrokes to register, crucial in Fortnite's fast-paced building and movement. To begin, open Registry Editor by typing RigEdit in the Windows search bar, then right-click it and choose Run as Administrator for full access. Once the Registry Editor is open, navigate directly to the specific registry path provided in the video description by copying and pasting it into the address bar at the top of the window, then press Enter. This will take you straight to the folder containing the setting we want to tweak. Inside this folder, look for a key named Keyboard Data Queue Size. Double-click on it to open its value editor. By default, this value is usually set to 100 in hexadecimal, meaning Windows queues up to 100 key presses before processing them. While this is fine for regular use, it can introduce input delay during fast-paced gameplay like Fortnite, where every millisecond counts. To reduce input lag, try lowering this number. A good starting point is 65, which tightens the queue and often results in faster keystroke registration. Since the ideal value can vary by system, test gradually by lowering the value step by step. Try 95, then 90, 85, and so on, until you find the sweet spot that improves responsiveness without dropping key presses. Make sure to keep the value format set to hexadecimal before clicking OK to save your change. After applying this tweak, you should experience noticeably snappier inputs in Fortnite, giving you better control for faster builds, quicker edits, and smoother overall gameplay. The next step to reducing input delay in Fortnite is disabling mouse acceleration in Windows. This is a vital tweak for competitive players, ensuring consistent and accurate mouse movements. Since Fortnite demands quick flicks and precise building edits, having raw, unfiltered input is essential for better aim and control. Start by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard and searching for mouse settings. Once the window opens, scroll down and click on additional mouse options. This will bring up the classic mouse properties window, which contains more advanced settings. Switch over to the pointer options tab. You'll find a slider labeled select a pointer speed. Set this slider to the middle. This is the neutral position that avoids both sluggishness and oversensitivity. Just below it, make sure to uncheck the box labeled Enhance Pointer Precision. Now here's why this matters. Enhance Pointer Precision is Microsoft's way of implementing mouse acceleration. It adjusts your cursor speed based on how fast you, you move your mouse. While that might sound useful, it actually introduces unpredictable behavior, especially when you need pixel-perfect accuracy. Turning it off ensures that your mouse movement stays linear and consistent, which is exactly what you need for better muscle memory, flick shots, and edit timing in Fortnite. After that, click Apply and then OK to lock in the settings. But don't stop there. There's a hidden acceleration setting buried inside Windows accessibility options that can still mess with your aim. Open up the control panel by searching for it in the Start menu. Navigate to Ease of Access and then click Ease of Access Center. From here, scroll down and click Make the Mouse Easier to Use. Then choose Set up Mouse Keys. In the window that appears, look for a slider called Acceleration. Drag this slider all the way to the left to Slow. This ensures that there's no residual or hidden acceleration applied through accessibility features, which many users overlook. Once again, click Apply and OK to save your changes. So guys, that was today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more Fortnite tips and tricks.